What's up guys, it is Michael. I am back with a short video, face to face, just a casual talk. And this is something that I have wanted to talk about for a really, really long time. So, big words, it's always thrown around. Is he natty, is he not, is he a fake natural? Whatever, so I'm gonna address that, give you guys my opinion on this topic right now. What is the problem with it? What do I think is wrong with it? And maybe to educate some of my younger viewers because I feel like my perspective is definitely unique. I started making YouTube videos when I was 18 years old and I'm 24 now. And when I was 18, looking back, I would believe if someone told me that they were natural when they had an absolutely incredible physique. And I was thinking about it before I turned on the camera and I kind of relate this to Santa Claus. Just because my parents told me that there was a man that flew through the sky, gave presents to all the little kids in one night, I believe them. And as I've been on this side of things for the last six years, I've learned a lot, right? I've learned a lot about the fitness industry. I learned what goes into it, how it works, and it's definitely a part of the industry whether you want to admit it or not. So you've got all these people out there with absolutely incredible jaw-dropping physiques, and a lot of them use one word, a common word repeated over and over and over again and that is natural. I understand why people wouldn't want to broadcast it to the world because here in the United States it's illegal, right? It's a it's a drug actually and to me it's kind of like saying hey to a police officer I have something illegal in my car. It just doesn't make the most sense and obviously getting caught with something like that that is a life changing decision going to court possibly going to jail. It just doesn't sound fun. So I do understand that aspect of it. So there's kind of the hush hush and the legalities of it but I feel Feel like maybe just not go out of your way to say natural or just don't even mention it don't even you know unspoken word right there you don't need to broadcast it to the world if you're not but that's just the way that I think oftentimes people that look up to these people are, are younger they're 15 16 17 years old and they're just getting into lifting weights and it's a great hobby it's good for you it's a lot of fun I feel like it's a positive thing to get into but the day they start lifting weights and the day that they start looking up to these people that are enhanced is the day that they're set up for failure because they are never going to be at that level unless they take the jump and get on steroids, which is actually suddenly taking a, a healthy outlet, a healthy hobby and kind of making it dangerous. Oh, you can get in trouble with the law or it could really mess you up if you take it wrong. You see what I mean? So that's one problem with it. You're really setting people up for failure. And then you can get into talking about the body image issues. You know, you've got kids that have been lifting for three years. Let's say there's a 19 year old and he still doesn't look like his idol and he just looks in the mirror and, and he feels like a failure, that's not a way to live. And you can say the same thing with females as well here. But my biggest gripe with this is when people use an enhanced physique to sell stuff to people that will never look like them because they don't take anything. So let me go ahead and use myself here as an example so I'm, no one thinks I'm singling anyone out because this really isn't directed at anyone. I have a fitness cookbook. I guarantee you I would sell 100 times more cookbooks if I was bigger, if I had bigger shoulders, if I was shredded, and I would hold up the plate of food, flex my abs, be absolutely shredded, washboard abs, and I say, hey, eat this to look like me, when we know that's not the case. So what would that be doing? That would be going up to people and that would be showing people, oh my gosh, I need to buy his book to look like that so I can eat those recipes to look like this, when that would not be true at all. So I guess the main point of this video that I would like to get across to my younger viewers is just question things a little more. And if you want to gain muscle, stick to the basics. Learn how to squat, learn how to deadlift, learn how to bench press, learn what your macros are, and eat in a surplus of calories. There's no magic program. There's no magic weightlifting program to make you all of a sudden shredded and ripped with gigantic delts and traps and veins everywhere. It's work and it's years and there's no easy way around it. So yes, in this industry, there is a lot of fluff on the outside, but in the core of it lies the squat, the deadlift, the bench press, and sticking to the basics and doing what works if you want to gain muscle as a natural. So that's kind of my rant that has been on my mind for the last few weeks. I've been getting comments, why don't you look like this person? Why don't you look like this person? And it's because I am me. We all have different genetic potentials. We all have different goals. And I'm just happy with being the best Michael Corey that I can be. So thank you guys very much for listening to this rant. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you next time.